Hi guys, leave a like on this video as we proceed to start the new episode of the latest Super Football News. Let's get started. Manchester United winger Anthony has refused to apologize for his controversial celebrations after his team's FA Cup win over Coventry. Jose Mourinho won't be phased by following Jurgen Klopp and may end up being the perfect choice for Liverpool, says former Red Star Dietmar Hammond. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta hailed Mauricio Pochettino as a father figure and revealed he shares a special relationship with the Argentine. Unai Emery has extended his Aston Villa contract to end links with Bayern Munich, as club owners view him as their own Sir Alex Ferguson. Cristiano Ronaldo is not a genius like Lionel Messi, says Fabio Capello, with the Italian claiming the answer to any GOAT question is very simple. The former Real Madrid and Juventus boss said, Ronaldo is a great player. He won titles, he won the Ballon d'Or, but as I said before, it's not as great as how Messi has been. Ruben Amaram will not succeed Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool with West Ham also set to miss out on sporting boss after meeting in London. Jude Bellingham is a global star. Real Madrid sensation poses with Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, Usain Bolt and legendary actor Andy Garcia after scooping Laureus breakthrough award. Alejandro Garnacho has been slammed for warming up in two earrings at Man United. Former Real Madrid and Juventus boss Fabio Capello is unsure if Cristiano Ronaldo will shine at Euro 2024 as former Real Madrid boss names England favourites to win trophy because of Jude Bellingham. Cole Palmer has been implored to stay at Chelsea and become the face of the ongoing project under Mauricio Pochettino by former Blue star Joe Cole. Jose Mourinho claims he didn't have same support from Man United as Eric Ten Hag and insists there are still players at Old Trafford who don't have the best professional profile. Jude Bellingham is out to win it all in 2024, with the Real Madrid and England star setting an ambitious treble target. Bellingham said, it's definitely something I want to do. We've still got a few more games to wrap up La Liga and then we've got two very difficult games against Munich. For the Euros, hopefully we can take our form from the last few tournaments and do one better. Kylian Mbappe may be very fast, but eight-time Olympic gold medalist Usain Bolt says he would still beat the PSG superstar in a 100m race. Inter sealed the 2023-24 Serie A title by beating neighbours AC Milan at San Siro in the Derby della Maddalena. Aaron Ramsdale may be offered an escape route from his misery at Arsenal as there is reportedly new interest in the goalkeeper. Inter Milan CEO, Giuseppe Morata, emphasised the commitment of both Inzaghi and Martinez to remain with the Nerazzurri. Giuseppe Morata said, for Lautaro and Inzaghi there will be no problems. Bundesliga giants target interim manager to replace Thomas Tuchel as they wait for Xabi Alonso or even Jurgen Klopp, with experienced coach emerging as option. Marcus Rashford could make it to England squad for Euro 2024 as UEFA set to allow teams to register 26 players. David De Gea vows, I'll be back as X-Men UTD star spotted training at apparent non-league ground. Liverpool are reportedly interested in appointing Feyenoord boss Arne Slot as their next manager as they look to replace outgoing Jurgen Klopp at the end of the current season, according to Fabrizio Romano. Bruno Gamares is likely to leave Newcastle United in the summer amid interest from Manchester United, Liverpool and Barcelona. Real Madrid are eager to extend the contract of Lucas Vazquez. Following his standout performance in the recent Clasico victory against Barcelona, Real Madrid midfielder Luka Modric is eager to prolong his tenure at the club for another year, the 38-year-old has shown a preference to remain with the Spanish giants despite rumors linking him to a potential move to Saudi Arabia or Croatia. Barcelona has set its sights on Newcastle United striker Alexander Isaac, according to reports from The Sun. Chelsea are set to compete with Manchester United to secure the signature of Crystal Palace winger Michael Aulis in the upcoming summer transfer window. Veteran Brazilian defender Thiago Silva is all set to leave Chelsea at the end of the current 2023-24 season, according to Transfer. The defender rejected a few offers in the January window to continue with the Blues until the end of the season, however, he is now likely to move back to Brazil and join Fluminense. A young Chelsea fan has gone viral for holding a placard questioning his side's commitment during their 5-0 loss to Arsenal at the Emirates. The young fan's poster reads, I don't want your shirt. I want you to want to fight for ours. UTC, up the Chelsea. Chelsea Nicholas Jackson striker wastes golden chance in Premier League thumping by Arsenal. Despite having scored 10 goals in the Premier League this season, Jackson missed a couple of chances against Arsenal to add to his tally and failed to silence his detractors. In a particularly glaring miss, the 22-year-old found himself one-on-one -on -one with Arsenal goalkeeper, David Raya, in the 61st minute, with Chelsea trailing 3-0. However, reminiscent of his struggles in his debut campaign, he inexplicably missed the target, shooting wide when faced with only the keeper to beat. Despite his disappointing performance, Chelsea manager, Mauricio Pochettino, 
kept Jackson on for the entirety of the match with a rating of 6.9, as noted by SofaScore. Hi guys, ensure you check out the new videos on our Super Football News channel. Thanks for watching, bye bye.